Hi everyone, it's Catherine here from Chaos Creates. Thanks for joining me on my channel today. I'm sharing a pocket page process video as part of the Cut Apart Crazy collab. And I am using this paper from the new Coco Vanilla Studio Storyteller Collection. Now that paper is called Storytime. So I have this, I guess, you know, section of my project life. Um, I have previously completed the, this is part of week 12, I want to say, um, for my project life. So I'm going ahead and I'm cutting apart um, this sheet. And I am going to make use of a lot of these sort of white um, background uh, cut aparts. So along that stripper, this is a design A. And so I'm using the four sections. I've only got one sort of um, three by four photo and then two smaller photos. And I'm going to do some journaling as well. But I knew I needed to add in um, some four by six kind of um, cards as well. So I'm just using the A5 paper stack. Um, I'm just adding this cute little photo of a puppy um, with a blue background. I really liked, I wanted that to pop off the white page. So I'm just working out what cards I can use and I'm laying out some of these um, uh, A5 papers. So the good thing about these papers is that you get a lot of them, but unfortunately the A5 isn't quite enough when you, um, you know, cut it out. It is a little bit small, but look, it's still okay. So I do cut one on an angle and one, um, you know, just the top section you'll see in a moment, but I'm just keep continuing to cut apart this sheet. There's awesome um, labels and I use labels a lot on my project life so this was perfect now I know I'm not just using the one sheet and I'm you know bringing in these other cards but they worked really well and I am going to cut apart um, that smaller cut apart sheet too in the A5 stack so it has almost the same papers but while I'm cutting all of that apart we let you know I've left links below to everyone that plays along for this crazy uh, cut apart collab and so thanks to Laura Alberts for putting all of this together. I know Joanne Bartel will be joining Rebecca Lockhart and Adam Westwood. So go and check out all those awesome designers that will you'll get some inspiration from to create your pocket pages with a cut apart. So I have laid all of that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and just sort of trim things up. Um, you know it's a bit hard to align everything perfectly when you're cutting these things apart. So I do just like to use my bigger scissors just to make sure that I um yeah I cut I cut them you know those white little bits off. Now I'm just using a six by a four by six um sort of piece of paper just to cut that off. And as you can see the top of that A5 paper stack isn't quite six um, inches across but that's okay um I, I you know it fits in the pocket, like I said before. I'm just going to mat these photos on a bit of white cardstock. Um, sometimes I print my photos um, with a white border, but not these smaller ones. So I quite often go ahead and add that white border. I just feel like it stands out a little bit more if I do do that. Um, I've got that beautiful wood grain that I'm putting the picture of Bridgerton. So that weekend I was um, a little bit sick and went ahead and binge watched Bridgerton, the whole series. Um, my mother-in-law was over as well and she really got into it. She loved it. So I do do a little bit of journaling around that. Now I'm just cutting apart some of these um, sort of smaller, I guess, um, you know, words. And I go ahead and use that pinky color one says, I love this story so much. And the yellow says, this makes me so happy. So this is a picture of the kennels. And so um, Murray, the seeing eye dog that we look after, these were his puppies. And we ended up getting one of these puppies called Sandler that we look after and we're training, hopefully to one day become a seeing eye dog. So um, I don't know if that little puppy in the handler's, you know, hands is is Sandler, but yeah, he, he certainly, you know, grew up in that puppy center. It's so cute. So we got a little sneak peek there of those cute little puppies. Um, so I'm just going ahead and sticking down, I guess, that part of the, the smaller cut apart, just so I can do a little bit of journaling next to that photo of Bridgerton. I'm just going to back this photo on that yellow, beautiful sort of mustardy yellow um, cardstock. And 
So that is a picture of some cockatoos. They, you know, were out in the um, in the rain just picking up, you know, obviously there was some good food there, but they were sitting on the tram line. So I'm not sure what was happening, but um, yeah, there must have been some good food. Now I'm going to go ahead and stick um, these smaller photos down. So that little puppy that you see, that was, um, I met um, this puppy on a walk much bigger dog now but I just wanted to include it in my project life to say yes we you know we met this dog this was one of another one of Murray's puppies then I'm adding that um there along the top to say let me tell you a story um that is a photo of Sebastian he is um it was a surprise or a prize we got him um he named his squishmallow thick I'm not sure why, but anyway, I do do some journaling around that. And so I've shifted those cards around because I wanted to do the journaling directly beneath um, that photo of Seb. And so I've added that word that says, I never want to forget. And now I'm just adding um, from the sticker sheet, the one that says the sweetest. And that's a picture of Seb just um, in, in bed. I think he was just saying, he said to me, mom, take a picture. I'm, I'm, I'm asleep. And then I do add this um, sticker here that says the details and I'll do a little bit of journaling on there. And then I was like, ah, oh, I better go ahead and pull out um, the die cut ephemera. But to be honest, I'm not really sure if I use any, maybe one piece. I've really just used the cut apart because I'm just going to go ahead and fussy cut this cute little camera. And I do after this fussy cut all all of those cameras um, as well as all of the hearts um, and so they get added to my ephemera. I have also fussy cut all the florals and also um, well sorry the florals from the 12 by 12 I haven't cut apart the florals from the A5 paper stack yet but um, I I did sort of cut all of this sheet apart. So as you can see, I'm just cutting one of the hearts out there and I do go ahead and, and cut the rest out. Um, and what else do I do? Yeah, so like I said, I didn't actually use too much ephemera. Um, it's mainly from this cut apart sheet. Um, and yeah, I think it's really good because I have those cameras like with quite small I use the sticker and now I'm just going through to see what else I can make work obviously I, this is the first time I've played with this collection not obviously but this is the first time I've used the collection so I'm you know still working out what is there um so I you know I'm a bit unsure so I now go to um these puffy hearts oh my god I did get two packets of these because they're just gorgeous so yeah like you can see I'm kind of just you know, rifling through things because I'm not sure where to go with anything else. So I do pull out this die cut ephemera piece that says take note and I don't end up doing any journaling. Um, you know, it wasn't that significant, but, you know, I had printed it out already, um, yeah, to include. So, um, yeah, how do you project life? Do you do project life? Do you enjoy it? I print out a lot of photos. I love documenting the everyday. So I have just changed that. Um, and that says I never want to forget. So we'll do some journaling below that. And I go ahead and pick out this puffy heart and stick it on that camera. And then I think that's about it. And then I do come back in the next day and do my journaling. I do do that off camera. Um, and yeah, so as you can see, I'm just sort of laying everything out so that I you know, know what's there. Like you can see, I've come in the next day. I'm going to add some more puffy stickers. I've done my journaling. Um, so I'm just putting these as some accents and I will leave you with some close-ups at the end. So I hope you've enjoyed this process video. Please let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like, subscribe. Bye. Mm -hmm.